Tesla Gigapress multi-directional casting machine in Fremont begins operations. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel. Join our community if you would like to have daily Tesla news and ring the bell to be notified when we upload at our, uh, our next Tesla story. Our friend from Tesmanian.com, Eva Fox, reports that uh, Tesla's uh, Gigapress multi-directional casting machine in Fremont factory already begins operations. Eva writes that if you think that only OTA over the air updates can upgrade Tesla cars, then you may not be right. Tesla continues to improve on the manufacturing process. In fact, earlier Tesla had said that the factory is the product, the factory that makes another factory, that the, fa the machines that make machine, that uh, a factory that makes car. Today, Tesla China presented information on the Model Y giant casting machine called Gigapress. Tesla China made an official announcement in which it provided further details on Gigapress and the advantages associated with the manufacturing method of how Tesla makes its electric vehicles. This announcement from Tesla Giga China also included information that the giant casting machine had begun being put to work at Tesla's Fremont factory. That's already interesting. And here's a quote, multi-directional single casting machine for car frame has started operation at Tesla's Fremont factory used to produce Model Y. So this machine at Tesla's Fremont factory will be used to produce the Model Y electric crossover. According to photos received by the Tesmanian.com, the casting cell and first Gigapress have been assembled in the open air at the north end of the General Assembly building at the Fremont factory. The rear body of the vehicle is strong enough to carry a payload, but at the same time assembled from many parts and fastening elements it also has a lot of weight. Therefore, Tesla decided to improve the production process of this section, achieving casting in one part. But here's the problem with this. I, I have reported about this in the past, and, uh, and some of you have brought very interesting points, and I would like to know what Tesla has to say about these points. If you make several parts into one big part, what happens if there is, God forbid, if there is an accident? If there is an even minor accident, and this cannot be repaired, does that mean that entire um, part, uh, entire section, entire body has to be changed and that's that's a lot of work that's a lot of expense but also on the other hand this um, making uh, casting in one part may lower the cost of tesla uh, model y or tesla model 3 or other tesla models i don't know if you guys know the answer or if one of someone from tesla hears this and can respond in the comments it will be interesting because um, tesla decided to improve the production process of this section achieving casting in one part but what if there is a minor uh, uh, minor uh, accident what do you do do you change the entire body so that's the question that remains now the giant casting machine for tesla model y began operation in fremont tesla china announced that in the future this machine will also be installed at giga shanghai the first photos of this gargantuan piece of machinery, it's really huge, as well as robots for the upcoming Tesla Model Y production line in China, were included in Tesla's recently released quarter 2 2020 update letter. Apparently, the internal work of phase 2 at Giga Shanghai is ongoing at the moment, so the Giga Press has not yet been finally assembled. If you remember, Yesterday, I had a report about, if you haven't seen, please take a look. It's very interesting that the phase two buildings at uh, Giga Shanghai are almost ready. And in fact, right now, the internal work has begun. Heavy machinery is brought to the buildings of Giga Shanghai's uh, phase two section. And we were hoping that within a few months, a trial uh, version of Tesla Model Y made in China will be produced. And this may be in October or maybe in November. We'll see but now that 
the internal work on Facebook has uh, had phase two at Giga Shanghai is already ongoing and uh, this is why the Giga Press has not yet been finally assembled but it's interesting that it's already ready at an operational at the Fremont factory. Innovative automotive technology will help improve vehicle efficiency and performance, says Eva Fox from the Tasmania. Now the casting can be reduced from 70 parts to just one. So here are the advantages. Safety. Tesla has passed several safety tests around the world and received five-star ratings. But the company which adheres to the philosophy of safety first does not stop there. The one-piece forming process provides an improved modular design with a high degree of integration. This increases the area of action of the collision avoidance beam, thereby improving body performance. Crash safety is improved apparently over 20%. Now, there are also range improvements for casting in one part. This design of Tesla cars will also increase battery life. The base wave at the rear part of the vehicle will be about 30% lighter, 30% less than before. This increases the range of the vehicle. This makes perfect sense because if you are able to reduce the weight uh, of the the, the, the the rear part of the vehicle uh, weight by 30%, making it lighter. This, of course, is going to improve the range um, of, the, of the vehicle. Now, the environmentally friendly and energy saving. This production process is apparently more environmentally friendly and energy efficient in making the vehicle. Traditional stamping results in a large amount of scrap residual, while with the Giga Press, apparently 100% of the raw material is used there is no scrapping giga uh, residual and, and there is no scrap residual um, this therefore results in resource and energy savings in terms of in terms of production and is in line with tesla's environmental values so as you can see we see that there are three advantages safety range improvement per charge and environmentally friendly and energy saving but this innovative automotive technology that is going to improve help to improve vehicle efficiency and performance now casting instead of 70 parts to just one is going to raise a question and the question remains what if there is a minor accident do you change the entire body of the car? If you know the answer, please let me know in the comment section below. In the meantime, this is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. And um, I'll see you in our next report. By the way, I'm still hiring more Tesla reporters. If you visit TorqueNews.com slash Tesla, you will see lots of new articles that are not reported in our YouTube channel. I've already hired two Tesla reporters and a few more are coming this week. And and if you are interested to join our Tesla reporting team and be paid for that, please send me a sample article on the current Tesla news and you will be considered and we'll take it from there. Have a wonderful day, friends. See you soon in our next report. God bless you and take good care of each other. See you soon.